see no row can occur in Skellige without your participation. Mean and inaccurate, Ermion. Seems to me I've missed quite a few. The blood of Crocs blood sits upon the throne, and that is your doing. I'm afraid you've ignited a small civil war. For ages, men had shed each other's blood in the quest for Skellige's crown. Politics as usual, just a difference of degree. Yet the bloody feast at Ker Trolda was different. It was dishonorable, treacherous, needed investigation. More witcher's work. Work that culminated with the crowning of the Isle's new queen. So, Clan Drummond will attack sooner than we expected, it seems. Thought Croc sent you to negotiate an agreement with Lugas. Ha! <laughs> an agreement? Only Croc believes such a thing possible at this stage. You mean I didn't actually ruin things for you? Not this time. Lugas' death stands to change a great deal. His cousin, who will now be named Jarl, is a weak commander. Stupid. This war will start soon, and even sooner. But why have you returned to Skellige? How's Ceres handling things? As the makings of an excellent queen, if she would only flee her father's shadow. Everyone, Lugas accepted, declared their support for her. Yet the minute the Imperial fleet appeared on the horizon, the Jarl took matters into his own hands. And Yalmar? And the lads led three raids against the Imperial fleet, all against Krak's will, all failed. Uh, yet he'll find volunteers for another. Yeah, sounds like Yalmar. Listen, Ermion, know anything about the Sunstone? Legends place it somewhere in Skellige. The Mask of Urberus first, now the Sunstone. Monsters may rest easy. You'll become a treasure hunter. I've never found the Enshe Elves interesting, but there's a Skald, Avid. He could help you. Once told me of some inaccessible caverns or ruins or some such. Where will I find him? Today? In Arambjorn, doubtless. You might also ask the Pearl Divers, Erling and Matthias Fishlung. Of late, they hunt near the tip of the bay, eastern end. Fishlung? Interesting. So they call him. Submerges for hours at a time. None know how he does it, but I've my suspicions. Hmm. Not too fond of him. It's nothing personal. I couldn't stand his father or grandfather either. Thanks for your help. One thing, Geralt. These caves are ruins. Matthias and Erling's ancestors would have looted them bare centuries ago were they not protected by some magic barrier. Take a sorceress with you. You must have brought at least one of them. Old gaggle this time. Ah, uh, gods protect us. Not now. Watching for Nilfgaard's fleet. Fleet? Oh, hey, they mentioned something. Now, I have more important matters on my mind. By my calculations, today is the day Givorg, the legendary white whale, will swim the waters of Skellige. Been waiting for this my whole life. What's this whale about? He's to appear when the specters descend from the heavens into the waves. The serpent wakes the sea's wrath, and an icy monster devours an isle. Be the first bard to compose a ballad about him. Legends don't happen to mention a curse of the Black Sun, do they? Black Sun? What are you on about? Never mind. Let's watch for Gevord together, and you can tell me what you know about any elven ruins in Skellige. Heard of some cavern no one's been able to enter? Good thing, too. Elsewise, they'd have pondered it long ago like all the others. Avon. What? I... Uh, 
Just wanted to assure you I only want to look around the cavern. It's research. Research? Writing a historical treatise on the Enche Elves, under Ermian's tutelage. Ermian? Man never cared a whit about the Elves of the Mountains. I've seen through the victory. Cut me the bits if you like. I'll never tell you about the cavern. <sighs> Look, Erling, told you we wasn't done for the day. Didn't even have to fish this one out. You daft. Can't you see he's a witcher? What's a witcher doing here? Run out of pearls. Not your concern. What the sea gives, we take. Seems she's a reluctant giver. Hey, I could use a better knife. But a few hours and their fingers are swollen. Plan to return the bodies to their families at least? I mean, once you're done. They speak true. Mutants got nothing resembling refined sentiments. Look at them. You think their ever loving mums and wifeys want to see them in this state? The sea will bury them. And that's that. Risking a lot. Why? That a threat or something? Don't need to worry about me. But I heard calls underwater. Monsters must have sensed blood. I don't hear nothing. Ordinary folk never hear these things till it's too late. We best get out of here, Matthias. Listen, heard you know a thing or two about elven ruins in Skellige. Who says? Ermian. Hmm. You'll not tell him what you saw today, will you? Depends. Elven ruins, you say? What you want to know? Druid mentioned some cavern you've never been able to enter. Where is it? East of Kertrold. In a cove you can only reach from the sea. We got nothing else for you, so if you're done, we'd rather get back up top. I'm done. And good idea. I'd rather be looking at now. Otherwise, I'll continue to wonder if he's not about to stab me in the back. You've something of a persecution complex. You needn't come with us. I hadn't intended it. Going somewhere? Siri says there's a site in Skellige we must examine. Avalach's clearly hiding something from us. Earlier, when we were in the Isles together, Avalach mentioned a laboratory. At one point, he wished to teleport there, to retrieve something. And he refused to take me with him. It was all very strange. Sufficiently suspicious, don't you think? Making too much of it. Avalak's as secretive as any elf. What are your suspicions exactly? I... don't know, Geralt. I've a feeling it's important. Come with us. Fine. Where is it? On a small isle between Undvik and Spikarog. Not exactly on our way. Just found out the Sunstone's on Ard Skellig. A cavern along the coast that we can only access from the sea. Gonna need some real magic to get in, too. Go find this laboratory. I will explore Ard Skellig. You can join me later. Philippa, your eyesight. Only just recovered and magically simulated. Didn't you say you'd need some time to get accustomed? Did I? Oh, I'd forgotten how irritating she can be. Come, Siri. We'll wait you there. Just wonderful. I see, look at this. A 
Let's go. What now? Gonna grow yourself some new eyes, like Vilgefortz did? I remember the moment I killed him. Cultivation wasn't complete. They hadn't grown in fully yet. Looked disgusting, but... I take it your mention of that deviant is purely coincidental. Of course. Also heard of this rich blind dwarf from Mahakam. Had them put two sizable rubies in his eye sockets. Couldn't see a damn thing. But word is, it looked pretty tasteful. Hear that? Hmm. Let's go. Couldn't help notice the tension between you and Yennefer and Triss. It's very hard on Syria, I think. There are times I doubt you three realize how it looks. Triss plays the big sister to Siri, but eagerly awaits a chance to hop in bed with you. You and Yennefer play the parents. Yeah, so if you're angling to make it a five son, there's clearly no room. See the sentry who seems to be waiting for payment. I'm fresh out of change. Oh, in blood, not coin. The sentry is Fearlan of the Elven legend. Do you literally read nothing? Yennefer must have tremendous pull with the Emperor to get him to guarantee the Lodge's safety. What's your take on it? My take? Obviously a leading question. No. Geralt, I'm tired. Let's sit and chat a bit first. Is foreplay that important to you? You'll get to work with the Emperor. Not excited? No. I mean, yes, of course I am. Thus far, the Lodge has oft banked on weak rulers. It's been one of our biggest mistakes. Hmm. So you're impressed Emir keeps his mages on a short leash? Yennefer's wise to keep you out of politics. I'm afraid you'd not realize which way the wind was blowing if you pissed straight into it. You ought to talk to Yennefer. Painfully clear there's unfinished business there. Yennefer's always walked her own path. I'm actually touched she decided to take an interest in matters of the Lodge this time. You don't trust her. So once the hunt's defeated, leave. Find asylum elsewhere. I hear Adania's offering. I'd sooner stick my head in a Zoogle's spiky orifice. Thanks, but I've other plans. This deal with Amir. It's sorcerous business. Pick someone else's brain. So she's not told you anything? What about personal plans? Has she mentioned anything? A possible advisory position? Beside a young, promising empress? Stay away from Ciri. She's an adult, Geralt. You keep forgetting. She can decide for herself. So, onward. <laughs> 